Hi everyone, Pastor Wade here, uh, bringing you day three of our Lenten devotions based upon Bruce Reyes Chow's 40 Days, 40 Prayers, 40 Words. And if, uh, if you got the first two days completed, I have to apologize because I actually skipped day two. So we did days one and three. So we're doing day two today. We'll do day four tomorrow. But uh, Pastor Bruce is reflecting on courage and on Psalm 91, the first couple of verses. And so I'm going to read that to you. I'm going to read the, uh, his writing, offer some extra reflection, and then uh, close in prayer. So Psalm 91, verses 1 and 2. You who live in the shelter of the Most High, who abide in the shadow of the Almighty, will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Bruce writes, one of the most difficult aspects of engaging in self-reflection is that I might find something that I don't like about who I am, about what I do, what I think, or why I do what I do. And even worse, I would then have to change my behaviors, my thinking, and my motivations. Who wants to do that? I believe that most people are pretty good folks, and in our most honest times, we are able to acknowledge aspects of our personalities and our behaviors that may need to change. At the same time, I also know that changing lifelong behaviors and ways of thinking, large or small, is not easy. Few of us can simply wake up in the morning and say, today, I am no longer going to judge people unfairly. Or, today, I'm going to be compassionate toward all people. Or, today, I'm not going to eat foods that I know are bad for me. And yet, Lent is a time that we can explore changing, if even for a short time, those behaviors and perspectives that need to change. For some people, it means letting go, and for others, to take something on. But it all requires embracing the difficult task of self-reflection and change. And no one, no one likes change. We generally like change for other people, but not for ourselves. Change takes courage. It takes discipline. And it takes hope. That sounds a lot like Lent. You know, as I read this and think about this, I, I wonder, what is it in my life that I need to risk changing? Risk. Maybe, maybe it's stepping out of the comfort zone and taking a risk. Doing something you never thought you could have done before. I think maybe that's it for me. It's a new experience. Whether I like it or not, whether I think I'm going to like it or not, maybe that's what needs to change. And that's how I stretch myself. And in that change, where do we see God? Where do we see God calling us to make change in the world? Change that affects not only us, but other people. And again, that could be done, just like Bruce said, in a large way or in a small way. Maybe to change that positively affects your relationship with your significant other or your children or your co-workers or maybe a member of the family. Or it could be something big. Maybe you want to start a food pantry or um, a sidewalk library. Or take up a new health activity like pickleball. Anyway, uh, let us pray. God, sometimes I am overwhelmed by fear. Fearful of change, fearful of others, fearful of the unknown. And those times grant me courage. And courage not born out of fear, but courage that is guided by your wisdom. Gifted with your presence and grounded in your calling. Amen. All right, friends. 
Just remember that no matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, God loves you just the way you are. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.